Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm telling you, they don't know what to do. They don't know how they're going to live their life without you. Here's the thing I'm seeing too. I'm, I'm being led to like look at this dolphin. Dolphins mate for life, okay? And I feel like that's how they feel, alone without their person. I don't see the other dolphin in this picture. You know, they're here. There's one, there's one, right? There's two of them there. And in this picture, there's only one. You're gone. You're gone, collective, out of this person's life, and they don't know what to do. Look at them. They're juggling, like, what'll I do, right? <laughs> For real. Um, they don't know what to do and they're feeling like it, they're feeling pretty stupid because they lost the one for them. I just heard too, I lost the love I love the most. That's Christina Perry. Um, so yeah, I feel like they, look, the divine is showing them, you know, here's the thing. You, you had a, a life partner. You had somebody that was going to be there for you. You, you may have, um, like at one point you would have followed this person anywhere okay and now it's like they're just kind of looking for you here like where's my person and the divine is showing them well this is because of your lies this is because of the in and out energy right this is because of the no communication you haven't communicated with with the collective you cut them out of your life like you like a pair of scissors you know um you had in and out energy. This person could have lied on your name, right? It completely betrayed you. And I feel like they acted as though they didn't even care. And this is the divine showing them, you know, um, teaching them a lesson, telling them, but, but didn't you do all of this? And wasn't this a pattern for you, a pattern of behavior? Because look at the patterns on the floor, the patterns on the ceiling. Okay, you walked out of their life. And you left the door open for someone else to come in and not take advantage of the collective's love, okay? So they're being shown this. I, I feel like nighttime is horrible for this person. Um, they could be getting a lot of messages in their dreams right now. The divine, I, honestly, everybody has intuition. You know, the, the, the difference is whether or not you listen to it, okay? So this person, they were getting the messages this, this whole time, and they weren't listening to it before, but they're listening to it now because possibly they're alone. You know, when they go in isolation, they can take a look at themselves, and that's, I feel like, what they're doing here. They're being forced to do it, you know. Um, they're longing for you. They, they know that you're leaving. If you look again at this picture, he's not lifting her up you guys. He's holding her down by her wrist <laughs> with all the strength he's got in him. So I know this person is pulling on your energy as you naturally ascend in your life, okay? This is you leaving this person and energetically they can't let you go. They don't want to let you go. They don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, look, they want to communicate here, but this is that wish that won't come true, right? Um, it says in the song, um, when I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true, what'll I do? Okay, that's what this is. You guys, I'm getting the chills. Okay, you see the hair raising on my arms, right? Um, and that's what this is. This person can wish and wish and wish for you, but without your cup of love, they're not going to get wish fulfillment. You know, I feel like they need the Ten of Cups for ultimate wish fulfillment. And there's one thing missing, and that's your love. Okay? Without it, they're only sitting here alone with wishes that won't come true. Um, dreams, I'm sorry, dreams that won't come true. And I feel like they are getting a lot of downloaded messages in their dreams, too. Um, they want to talk. They want to take some kind of action, but honestly... This situation's coming to an end, and I don't even see your energy out here. There's a complete absence of you that they can't stand. They can't, 
it's like they can't handle the thought of you not ever being in their life again. Okay, this person's going through it, collective. All right. Um. Yeah, and they realize that if they don't take action, if they can't take action, this dream is this dream of being with you is never going to come true. Um. All right. Clarified death. Yeah. Look, you're leaving. You're leaving because of all the betrayal. These swords. Um, that they put in your back, okay? It's their fault. You feel very betrayed by this person. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with the Virgo, Aries, possibly Gemini, or you could be a Gemini. Um, I've got Taurus out here as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, you're done. You've learned your lessons, and it was a harsh lesson. It, um, it caused you a great deal of pain, and they know it. And now they want to come in with this apology, okay? But you're not speaking to them. So I feel like you've made your decision collective. Uh, and remember, you know, here's that two of swords. They knew they, that they should be communicating with you. They knew that they were walking away after betraying you. And not talking to you. This is all on them. That's what spirit is telling them. But isn't this what you did? So now you're giving them the two of swords. Okay? You're making a decision. You're protecting yourself. And you're no longer communicating. You're moving on from this. All right? It's time. I feel like this has taken years. It could have taken, for some of you, up to nine years. Eight or nine. And this person's done way too much. Uh, behind your back, man, you took a major betrayal from this person, but you're ending this cycle here. It's, yeah, and you're moving on in your chariot. You, you're having a major victory, and I feel like somehow they can see it. They may be trying to communicate with you online, sending you messages, and you're not answering. You know, here's these two came out together, right? Um, this could be them like texting you, texting you, texting you. Well, if you have this person blocked on your phone, you're not even seeing those messages. And I feel like they sit and they wait. They, they wait for you to return their messages. They wait for you to answer your phone. They wait for, you, for this cup of love, for you to show them anything, any kind of love. And you're just not. You're not showing them anything. And that's driving them crazy. They don't know what to do. They know that you're leaving their life. They know you're leaving them behind. And they're extremely burdened by this. They can't stop thinking about you, man. This person, I'm telling you, it's driving this person crazy. You could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. Every day they feel like this. At night, they can't stop thinking about you. During the day, they can't stop thinking about you, okay? They're, they may even be getting a little bit angry, frustrated, um, because you're not answering their text messages or anything like that. I kind of get the sense this person has tried to contact you, and you've just either ignored the messages or you're not getting them, all right? And you just continue to keep moving forward. And while you're doing that, you're out here having a win. They can also see somehow that you're doing better without them than you ever were with them, okay? Hold on a second. I just need to pause this for a second. Sorry about that, Collective. All right, so, um, yeah, I feel like, too, you've waited for this person for what seems like forever. This could have been, this is someone who waits, okay? You waited for up to seven years or longer, maybe, um, and you're not waiting anymore with an empty basket. This person gave you nothing during this wait time. You had to work on yourself. You had to heal on your own. See, in the Queen of Swords energy here, you gave this person before nothing but love. Every time I see the Queen of Swords, I think of the Queen of Cups first. You know, you gave this person love and they gave you a sword in the back for it. And you had to reach back there, pull that sword out yourself, bleed out, and heal on your own. They just left you behind after the betrayal. And then after that, even after the betrayal, the backstabbing, the healing work, 
you still waited and were hopeful that this person would come back around and communicate, and they never did at the time. So you kept working on yourself, right? Learning those lessons, putting in the effort, passing all your tests. I mean, this takes time and focus. And so, yeah, now you're ready to move forward. You're over this person, basically. You're over them. You still have the memories of what they did. This person's already shown you their devil side, okay, their toxic side. Um, they're realizing that, too. Believe me, this person knows. And um, you're just not waiting for them anymore. You've healed. You're done. And you're, you're ready now to make this decision to protect yourself. Other than that, I'm really not feeling your energy much out here. Um, you're already detaching from this person, and they can't see their life without you. Like, for real. They can't imagine what life is going to be like without their person. Okay? They are so burdened by this. Holy cow. And I feel like, here's the thing. When I, got, when I pulled out this card, I heard just one more time. Right? I'm getting the sense that these are all of the times that they try to reach you. They have this person here that I'm talking about. They have been sending you text messages or emails or something. Okay, they've been trying, but you're not, you're not answering any of it. Okay, you either don't see it or you're not getting the messages, okay, or something. But they're going to try one more time to contact you. It's like they're getting really tired. They're, I feel like they're on their knees sort of praying. They're sorry for what they did. Okay? They're going to try one more time in the hopes that you return a message. But honestly, Collective, I don't see that happening. I feel like, too, um, when they try this one more time, they're going to give you yet another apology. I feel like they... They keep apologizing in messages that you're not getting. And, um, yeah, I see you moving on. You're no longer waiting for this person uh, to do right by you, you know? You see them as somebody who's going to be toxic. Yeah, but they're in love with you, Collective. They're in love, and they see you as the one. And here, you're out here balanced in your emotions. I'm telling you, you're over them. You could be manifesting a new love right now as we speak. You could be a Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they are all up in their feels right now. This person is a mess. I can also see this as somebody who did a lot of toxic things to you and they haven't been wanting to um, take accountability for that. They are now, though. They're trying. They're trying to... I feel like this person has sent you so many apologies, but um, you're not seeing it or answering. They're, yeah, they don't want to let you go. You know, you know who this person is, and I feel like you can feel their energy, but you're so tight-lipped. You're not talking here. You're not talking here. You're completely turned away from them here, right? Um, you're moving forward. I mean, they're not getting any conversation or communication from you at all. It's like it feels like a complete cutoff, but you're doing it in a peaceful way. Like you're not... You're not out here talking smack about this person behind your back or behind their back. You're not retaliating in any way. Um, you're not seeking any kind of revenge. You're not being mean or rude to them. Nothing like that. You're just letting this relationship and this connection go. You're just letting it go. This feels like a full release. Okay? And I feel like if you two were married, because you could have been married to this person in the past... Um, you took care of everything for them. You made their life beautiful. Okay, so you gave them the kind of happiness that now they can't forget. Well, then why did they treat, and this is why the divine is out here, then why did you, why were you in this toxic energy, and why did you treat the collective the way you did with all these lies and betrayal? See, that's why you're losing the collective. That's what the divine is telling this person. 
they're learning a major lesson here. Look at this. Nine of Swords in reverse. Guys, I keep getting that card in reverse. This is them at night. When I'm alone with only dreams of you, right? That won't come true. What'll I do? Um, yeah, but this is fair. The scales are being balanced out. And this is also, you know, um, them getting their karma for what they did. They're having nightmares about you. I'm telling you, this person's being shown in their dreams. Um, your future, they're being shown their future without you. They're being shown. Um, it's almost like a replay, right? If you look at this card, it's almost like a replay of everything that they did to you. It's replaying in their mind over and over again every night. Oh my gosh, this person's really going through it, you guys. I'm getting the chills like all over my body. It is very chilling. I, I feel like too at one point they had you in this energy, right? Up all night crying yourself to sleep, unable to stop thinking about this person and what they did. Okay, a bazillion questions of why this happened and what the heck was going on. But I feel like now it's them. It's them that's in the situation. The scales are balancing out. So they're now um, feeling all of the pain that you felt, okay? And you're now, I feel like, freeing yourself from this connection. You may actually meet somebody new. Sorry about that. You may meet someone new here, Collective. And um, this person knows it. Look. Oh, they're watching this. Oof. So they may be watching someone new come into your life here, too. They're watching you, um, spying on you on the Internet. This person does a lot of work on the Internet, or um, they're on the Internet a lot, trying to contact you. Maybe they're commenting on your stuff under a fake profile, too, as well. Um you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're angry because they think you, you could even be like doing something like online dating and they can see this. You're talking to someone new. Yeah, they are watching you like a hawk. <laughs> so whatever social media you have, um, anything you're posting on the internet, this person is seeing it. Okay. They may have even enlisted someone else to watch you as well, to bring back information. Yeah, they're seeing you from a new perspective, stronger than you've ever been before. Um, I feel like you're, the, uh, you're a warrior. You're a warrior queen. You're taking your power back. You're taking control back of your life. You're enthusiastic for new beginnings. They could be um, having visions of you being intimate with someone else. That's driving them crazy. They feel very stuck because without your cup and your communication, they won't get their dream come true. Okay. Yeah, they know they've got to talk. Here's the thing. They've been trying to reach out to you on the telephone, text messages, um, internet. Now they know they need to approach you in person because you are not returning their messages. Okay. So here they come. It's been a very long time. This is the slowest moving night in the deck, but they know they've got to talk. See, um, they've broken your heart, and now they're suffering this heartache. And they're tapping on this blade. Do you see that? It's like they know. They know they've got to come forward to communicate with you. They do not want you leaving their life. This is that communication. This is also clarity that you're moving on and meeting new people. And look, there's that cup that they need. Remember when I said, um, without your love, all they'll have is the dream that won't come true. Where is that? There it is. So, um, when I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true, what'll I do, right? They need one more cup to have wish fulfillment. Otherwise, it's just a dream. 
that they're going to be left with that will never come true. And that's the cup they need, the one that's in your hand. There it is, <laughs> the Queen of Cups. I told you guys, you gave this person the best love they ever had before, okay? And they want that love back. But after this betrayal, right, they stuck a sword in your back and you turned into the energy of the Queen of Swords. She's out here somewhere. <laughs> um, so now, yeah, you're taking this love and you're leaving their life. They're not getting this cup. And so this person, they know if they don't come forward and talk to you in person and at least try to convince you to have a second chance here, um, they will never get this, this dream. It'll be always a dream that won't come true. Do you know how this is going to eat this person alive? I'm telling you. For the rest of their life, this person's going to be pining for you, longing for you, having that dream that won't come true, remembering how you made them feel, knowing that you are their forever person, and they lost out. Okay? So get ready because I feel like this person's about to show up at your door after years of separation and no communication, okay? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, heavy Cancer out here. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, judgment call. I feel like you're making the decision to leave the situation behind this person has manipulated you. Um, they took your, your love and they trashed it. Okay, they didn't, um, they didn't see the value in that cup before. They took advantage of you. They could have lied behind your back. It was all manipulation. And you're done with that kind of energy. You know, you're done. You're moving on. You're elevating in your life. You've learned your lessons. You're not going back to somebody who treated you like that, or you're not going back to that kind of treatment. Let's just say that from anybody, from anybody, not anyone from your past and no one in the future. Like you're not going to be treated the way you've been treated. So yeah, you know the value of your love and now so do they. Yeah, they're realizing this. Their dream may never come true. So a dream come true is actually leaving their life forever. Tower moment, right? This is all that they can think about. It, it just replays in their head over and over and over again. Um, yeah, the betrayal, how they betrayed you, how they gossiped about you behind, their, behind your back. This person could have been a player, had other options, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, Tower. This person, they only have themselves to blame for this. And they don't know what they're going to do without you. All right, give me one more for my beautiful collective. Yeah, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could have, like, a really difficult job. Yeah, see, that once again, you're the wish. You're the wish that won't come true. See, they may want to put some work into this now. They definitely want another chance. This is somebody, too, who could have, you could have given them several chances already. You know, they you get together with this person, have a new beginning. They hurt you. They betray you. They cheat on you. They come back again, they apologize, they want a new beginning, you try it again, they hurt you, they cheat, they cheat on you, right? Now they want to come back for a third try. For some of you, they've done this to you a couple of times, and I feel like, you know, you're that wish, right? With the star energy here, you're the wish that won't come true because they need your cup to complete everything. They need your couple love to get back together with you. And it's not happening. I don't see it happening. You could be in the public eye. You could be a public speaker, spiritualist, empath, healer. You know, and this is another thing. This is why this person always came to you um, to tell my troubles to, right? That's what they would do. You were always there for this person. 
okay? You were, you always helped them out, gave them good advice. You were like their best friend. And they don't have this anymore. Who are they going to go to now? They're, they feel completely alone. And honestly, I don't see anyone else in this picture for them. They may have entertained other people, you know, they may have been a player in the past. But I feel like this person really is truly all alone now. Getting their karma, right, with this tower moment, justice and judgment is out here, right? They're getting their karma for this now. They're really feeling that absence of you. And honestly, they, I feel like that's how it's going to be for this person for a long time. Because you are standing, um, you're standing your ground collective. You know, you're protecting yourself. You're holding your head up high. You're leaving this person's life. You're taking your love and your power away here and taking your power back. And you're, you're not bending. So, yeah, I see the situation coming to an end and them realizing that they just lost their true soulmate connection here. Okay? Because of how they treated you. Ooh, collective. Um, let's see what they want to say. Okay. What does this person want to say to my collective? My deck is kind of screwed up, guys, so. <laughs> um, there we go. All right, what does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? What do they want to say to my beautiful collective? I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. I'm afraid for getting too serious. I was hurt before. Yeah, maybe this person is afraid of commitment, you know? This could be somebody who just really likes to play, likes new things, does whatever they want, you know? Um, impulsive. Sorry, collective. My camera keeps going wonky on me. Um, it's just very old, you know? <laughs> um... I still love you, and I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. I don't understand what this connection really is. I sabotage this connection, and I regret it. Yeah. Boy, do they. They did sabotage this connection. Okay, when they hurt you, they really hurt themselves. Um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like this is something that's coming to an end. All right, and um, you're moving on to a new life, meeting new people, talking to somebody new possibly, and they're left with a dream that won't come true. They're, I don't see this person getting your love back, not after everything that they've done. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I'm so sorry, you guys, because I know that this was a strong connection, and you really wanted this. You both had this wish, but your person, they mistreated you for far too long, okay? And I feel like you know you deserve better than the treatment that you've gotten from this person. <laughs>